In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use the VBA macros in Survey to automatically rotate our cells relative to a linear feature. So in this case, we're going to rotate our gas meter cells relative to the edges of pavement, just to show an example here. So to do that first, we need to make sure our VBA is attached, uh, is loaded. Um, so I'm going to go to Macros. Um, there is a configuration variable to auto load macro, so we'll want to set that to load our smart objects VBA. And um, and if we look, the VBA that I've loaded here is the smart objects VBA that we deliver. We deliver it to program files Bentley, Open Road, Open Rail, Designer, in the default survey files macros in VBA folder. So that's all I've done here is browse to that folder and opened up the smart objects VBA. And the one I want that um, we're given in this example here is the rotate cell. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna edit it because up in the top of the actual macro, um, there is an example of what you need to put into your survey settings to get it to use that. And some um, documentation here. And it tells us that we need to call the survey annotate rotate cell macro. This uh, first value here is a distance away from the linear that it's going to look for the code. This is the actual name of the linear feature that we're going to be looking for. And then this is the rotation angle. So um, all that's documented here on most of our examples. So I'm going to simply copy that and um, be able to paste that in the survey settings. So I'm going to close out now and I'm going to go to the Open Roads or Open Rail Standards and I'm going to go down to Survey Settings. And in the Survey Settings, in the General Settings is where we call our VBA macros and I'm going to click on that to edit them and I'm going to add a new one. And so what I'm going to be doing is for point features, any point feature that has the field code GAS I'm going to add this um, this annotation here, so I'm going to paste, and um, let's go ahead and edit edit that some. The um, the distance is okay. We'll look 100 feet out from that cell, but I'm actually going to be looking for the EP, the edge of pavement feature, and I want to do um, I want to rotate it uh, pretty much perpendicular or parallel. So I'm going to put a rotation angle of zero on that. So I'm going to tab out and hit accept on my macro. So now the survey settings knows that when it imports a gas, it's going to apply a gas feature. It's going to apply that macro to it and it's going to rotate it. So we'll go ahead and run through the import now on a field book and, and watch it work. So I'm going to delete the one that is there existing and I'm just going to import um, a new file. And this file I happen to have as a um, text import wizard. So I'm going to open that, open the TIW file, just say finish. Okay, when it imports the um, when it imports the points the first time, the trick here is that um, when you're rotating the cell, it needs the line to draw first. So actually, it's not gonna it. it it's not going to rotate the cell until we run the redraw command um, after we're done. So we're going to do that in just a second here. But I want to look at the actual uh, field book first to make sure that um, that the point came in okay. So I'm going to expand all point features. I'm going to choose my gas feature, which is down here, and I'm going to look at details on it. So we'll hit details. And the thing I want to see is here in the VBA macro, it did apply the macro settings that I had in the service settings to it. So it's going to rotate the cell um, within 100 foot of the edge of pavement with a rotation angle of zero. So it is going to do it. Looks like it's good. The last thing I need to do is just hit the redraw there because the um, this one rotate cell macro um, actually needs the lines to be drawn first before it can uh, rotate the cell. So, um, so for this particular macro, it has to be done, you know, post processing. Um, some of the other macros can go ahead and do, like the annotation ones, for example, can go ahead and do the annotation. Uh, but in our case, since points are placed before the lines, there we have to come back in and just hit a redraw after it's done. But um, once we have the information for the macro saved in our survey settings. When we import our file, the macro information gets saved on our point, and then we can hit the redraw there to actually rotate the cells.